costumes. All right, man. So I just seen some disturbing stuff, okay? Very disturbing stuff. Like, I'm talking about very, very, very disturbing stuff. But I know exactly what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know what I'm talking about, but you probably already do because of the title, John Cena. Okay, John Cena. I don't know if he the You Can't See... Nah, I don't, is he the You Can't See Me? I never watched wrestling, man, but... John Cena, okay? We all know who John Cena is. Apparently, this man came out on the stage in front of millions of people at the Oscar of 2024, butt naked, with like a little wooden thing covering his private area. Bro, I am like in shock right now, but I know exactly what this is, and I'm gonna get my thoughts at the end. Without further ado, let's get into this wickedness, man. <laughs> They are so important. Maybe the most important thing there is. I I, I can't open the envelope oh without God. the. <sighs> the nominees for best costume design are. Okay, so as y'all see, my boy is naked. All right, my boy is naked. I guarantee that man is going through a whole bunch of embarrassment inside. Okay, and and a lot of people laughing about this. Ha ha he ha he ha ha ha! I try. Everybody's laughing, but nobody knows exactly what's going on. And Cat Williams already mentioned this on the podcast that he was on with Shay Shay. Okay, all right. So this is man John Cena is going through a humiliation phase. This is the humiliation ritual where basically. This is what happens in Hollywood where they will humiliate you, make you do things that you don't want to really do, but you would do because you care so much about getting more roles. You care so much about getting more money and, you know, just advancing your name in the uh, in the industry. You feel me? You don't care about advancing your name in the kingdom of heaven, but you care about advancing your name in the industry on this earthly platform that we are, that's all going to pass away one day. You feel me? And everybody in the industry is a lot of majority of the people in the industry are going through humili a humiliation phase, a humiliation ritual, shall I say. Uh, same thing happened with Playboy Cardi. The man got caught in the thong, sagging his pants in, in a thong, bro, in a thong. We all know, if you don't know who Playboy Cardi is, he's a rapper. But if you look at some of his interviews from like five, maybe four, five, six years ago, the man looked totally different. The more he start to get deeper into the industry, the more that man start to change. His eyes start to get darker. He start to look so demonic. I'm telling y'all, man, the stuff that's happening in the industry is, is is wicked, bro. It is wicked. And everybody in the crowd's laughing. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. You think John Cena really wants to come out on that stage butt naked? I mean, let's just be real, bro. Let's be logical. You really think this man wants to come out on that stage butt naked? It has to be something behind closed doors that is happening. Okay, John Cena is not, his name is not that big in the industry as it used to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't hear people, John Cena, John Cena. Like, you don't hear people really talking about John Cena for real, for real. But this right here, this little humil uh, humiliation ritual is going to get him, like, there. It's going to get him to be more and more and more into the, uh, into the uh, industry or whatnot. You feel me? But this is the problem right here with the Hollywood industry is that they don't understand. They don't know Jesus Christ. And I keep preaching Jesus Christ because this is the truth. He is the way. He is the life. Bro. I, don't keep, I keep preaching that because people don't, they don't understand. Okay, they don't understand why you think so many people are coming up out of their sin and start to preach Jesus Christ is because God is raising up prophets. God is raising up younger generation to tell people about him because people need to repent ASAP. They need to repent ASAP. And the Bible tells us that what profits a man if he gains the whole world but loses one and only soul? John Cena, was it really worth it, my boy? 
Was it really worth it just to get a little pocket change? Was it really worth it to get a meal to two mil, three mil? I get it. Life is stressful. It's hard sometimes to live in this life, to make minimum wage. I understand. But is it really worth it? Is it really worth it embarrassing yourself like this? I don't want to watch it again, but for the sake of the video, we're going to watch it one more time. I really don't, okay? I really don't, but I just want y'all to see his face. And I know it's kind of, the quality on this is trash, bro. This is 420. Dang, that's all they got is 420p? That's crazy. But look at this, man. They are so important. Maybe the most important thing there is. I I, I can't open the envelope oh without my God. the. Uh, the nominees for best costume design are. This, this is embarrassing and it's sad. You know what I'm saying? It's sad that grown men have to do this in order to want to, you know, feed their family. And I get it. Feed your family by all means. You know what I'm saying? Do what it is that you got to do for your family. But this right here is not it. Like I said before, the Bible tells us, well, profits a man if he gains the whole world, but loses one and only soul. What is this going to profit you, bro? When, but when you die, your soul is gone. You know what I'm saying? Your soul is eternity, damnation. Like, what is this going to profit? All it is going to do for you right here on this earth is that you're going to get a little money. You'll, you know what I'm saying? You go buy a little nice car. You go, you go, you feel me? You're going to be one that people go look up to you because they're like, oh man, John Cena, he got this, he got that. I want this, I want that. They just going to fiend for what you have. And that's all that you're going to ever get is an applaud from men. But who wants an applaud from men when you can get an applaud from God? You know what I'm saying? When you should be striving for a well done, my good and faithful servant from the one that created you. You shouldn't be up, uh, waiting and, and standing there and getting an applaud from people that's just that 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 would never really know who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like these people laughing at you, bro. And they not laughing with you. They laughing at you, bro. Because this is silly. This is goofy. You know what I'm saying? This is some goofy stuff. This is some clown activity. I don't care about that humiliation ritual and all that, bro. This is some clown activity. I would never get on stage and do anything like this to get my name advanced in the industry. I don't care how much money they they, they trying to offer me. Yeah, it may be easy for me to say that now because I'm saved. But even when I wasn't saved, I wouldn't do stuff like this. I say all the time that even if I wasn't saved, I still wouldn't take. I still wouldn't drink, even if I wasn't saved because I don't like to taste of alcohol. I tried it before and I would never do it again, even if I wasn't saved. Even if I wasn't saved, I wouldn't smoke. I tried it before. I would never do it again. But even if I wasn't saved, bro, I would never put my life. I would never put my 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 manhood on the line to do something like this. I'm in front of men. I'm in front of men that like men. I'm in front of all type of people that just I like for real. Like it's not that deep. You know what I'm saying? It's really not that deep, man. But anyways, y'all, y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section below. John Cena at the Oscars just showing his butt and just doing some ridiculous things, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section below, man. It's been your boy, Depan. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.